Hello everybody, it's Mama G here and there are so many exciting books coming out in 2021 that I simply have to tell you about some of them. So welcome to the inaugural 2021 Mama G's Book Club. Cue theme tune, if one exists. Now the first book I would like to tell you about is a very exciting one. It is a sequel to a wonderful book that came out last year. That book was called The Good Hawk and it was by Joseph Elliott. And this book is called The Broken Raven and it is also by Joseph Elliott. Now if you read The Good Hawk then you will know that it ends on a huge cliffhanger and I am very excited to find out where the Broken Raven picks up the story because I cannot wait to find out what happens. The Good Hawk was a really marvellous book. The main character, Agatha, has Down Syndrome and it's amazing to see a Down Syndrome character be powerful and magical and important to the story. And there are also some LGBT themes that run through it and it's a great big adventure. So I would really recommend that A, you buy The Good Hawk and then you follow it up by buying The Broken Raven, both by Joseph Elliott and both published by Walker Books. Now the second book that I'm going to recommend is absolutely beautiful. It is a wordless picture book and that's pretty inclusive already but it's got a beautifully inclusive story. It is called Over the Shop and it has a story by John Arno Lawson and illustrations by Kin Leng. And it is about a little girl and her grandmother who run a shop, but it's seen better times, let's say. And there's a flat above the shop that needs occupants. And everyone comes in to look at the flat and no one falls in love with it. But then a beautifully diverse couple arrive. The grandmother's not too sure, but the granddaughter knows that they are the perfect couple and a beautiful friendship blossoms and the whole community becomes a lot more accepting. It's an absolutely stunning book. The story is beautiful and the illustrations are gorgeous and it is also published by Walker Books and it is available right now. Now, one of my favorite authors, especially of picture books, is Jean Willis. She always writes stories that have such a fantastic and unusual and slightly surreal angle to them. And she's teamed up with Tony Ross for a brand new book called Old MacDonald Had a Phone. Now, Tony Ross is the illustrator of the Little Princess series and lots of other wonderful books and his illustrations are so wonderful and exciting. And this book is the fourth in a series helping children understand internet safety. It comes out in February and it's going to be a really, really fun and educational read. I can't wait to get my hands on a copy and that is published by Anderson Press. Now, Walker Books have at least two wonderful publications coming up in February and I am very, very grateful and lucky that Walker Books have been able to provide me with a copy of each of these books. The first one is an absolute joy and delight. It is called The Lipstick and it's written by Laura Dockrell with illustrations by Maria Caripadu. And it is such a funny book. And you know the best thing about this book for me is I absolutely identify with the main character. Basically what happens is they find their mum's gorgeous pink lipstick in her bedroom and they think it's so gorgeous that they decide to decorate the whole house and everything in the house with this lipstick and they really don't see what they're doing wrong because they just want to make everything gorgeous. It is an incredibly fun book. It's also got a very lovely message about acceptance and about celebrating each other for what makes us happy. And it's got a very lovely ending as well. The second book I'd like to share with you is Can Bears Ski? 
It's written by Raymond Antrobus and has illustrations by the wonderful Polly Dunbar. I am a very big fan of her work. Do check her out on Facebook. Uh, this is another book that I identify with, actually, because this is about a bear that, when they are little, has a bit of trouble hearing. And when I was little, I had some trouble hearing as well. And the bear thinks that everyone is asking him, can bears ski? And he goes through the day with people getting very upset with him because he's not listening to what they're saying. But then it turns out that actually he can't hear what they're saying. And this is a wonderful book because I identified with so many of the characters. I identified with the little bear that couldn't hear because I know exactly what that's like. But I also identified with his dad and the dad's frustration because I can remember seeing that frustration on my parents' faces when I was having difficulty hearing what they're saying. So this is such a wonderful book for children and also for adults who might be experiencing something similar. And finally, another wonderful book being published by Anderson Press in February is the paperback edition of Where Happiness Begins by Eva Elland. Now, this is a marvellous book about understanding our emotions and it's dealt with in such a beautiful way. I was a very big fan of the hardback edition, but now I'm going to be an even bigger fan of the paperback edition because it's much easier to carry around. So there were six wonderful books that are being published in the next few weeks, and of course two that are already published. Do go and look them up. I will put the information and the links to buy them in the description, wherever that is. It depends where you're watching, doesn't it? But there are so many good books coming up in the future that I thought I'd just like to tell you about a few of them. Uh, one of them is A Present for Rosie. Here we go. Uh, which is being published by Walker Books, and I'll tell you more about that in a book club coming up. And then we also have Two Can Play by Margaret Sturton, which is going to be amazing because you know that I am a big Margaret Sturton fan after A Fox Called Herbert, which is a beautiful book and is also being published in paperback later in the year. And then finally, Grandpa's Camper by Harry Woodgate, which is being published in March, which looks like a beautiful and inclusive LGBTQIA plus picture book, which I can't wait to share with all of you. Please do go and find these books, support these authors and Walker Books and Anderson Press. And if you go to petitepantos.com, you will be able to find my blog where there are even more books that I am recommending. I'll see you all soon. Bye.